Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn not for profit organization, not for profit organization, NPO, non trading concern. You know, in the organization's point of view, we can divide into two. One is profit oriented organization, and next one is not profit organization or non trading concern. Profit oriented organizations are sole trading concern, partnership business, joint stock company, Hindu underdog family, or joint Hindu family business, cooperative societies, and NPOs. NPO, you know, their main motive is to provide services, not a profit. So, what are the examples of NPOs? Like uh, educational institutions and religious organizations, clubs, social welfare groups. Their main motive is to provide service for the people. These NPOs are set up to promote art, science, commerce, culture, education, sports, and religious oriented and uh, even relief to the poor so these are their main motives so definitely they can't earn even a single rupee as profit they are going to provide services for the people so that is why it is considered as not for profit organization some examples of npos are public schools even colleges hospitals charitable institutions trust cultural oriented organizations and literacy societies and sports and clubs oriented, social clubs, blood banks. So these are all not-for-profit organization. They are not expecting even a single rupee as profit. They are providing only services for the people. Even we are good for that. Our motive is to provide service for the people. We need money to provide services, right? To promote something or to help for the poor or educate someone or provide hospitality facility free for the people. We need money. What way these NPOs are collecting money? Think about it. If it is profit oriented organization, they are investing their money as capital into the business. Isn't it? And they are making profit with the help of their capital money. They are doing many activities. But not for profit organizations not going to deal any manufacturing or buying and selling activities. In what way they are receiving money? Think about it. Subscriptions, donation, membership fees, legacy, entrance fees and uh, some loans and grants, government grants and some interest on investments. The person who have started this not-for-profit organization, they are called as members instead of owners. And NPO is managed by a group of individuals. They will be called as trustees or managing committee or governing body. NPO should be registered under section 8 of Indian Companies Act 2013. Even we have Trust Act in the year 1882, it must be registered under section 8 in Companies Act 2013. It is required to prepare financial statement as per Triple 1 section, Schedule 3 of the Indian Companies Act 2013. And not for profit organization is a separate legal entity. Same like joint stock company. You would have learned about the company form of organization, company and promoter are two different individuals. Same like that. Here, the members and organizations are two different individuals. It has separate legal entity, not owned by any individual or an enterprise. Even it is not for profit organization, these NPOs are involving in trading activities, incidental trading activities. The revenue what this NPO is generating from this incidental trading activities will be used only for the purpose of providing services and establishment of these organizations, not for profit organization. So that is why this revenue will not be distributed to its members. 
if you are taking any business organization whether it is joint stock company or partnership business oriented or joint hindu family whatever it is if you take they will distribute the revenue for its members but here it will be used only for the purpose of providing services and for establishment only and these organizations must maintain some books of accounts called the cash book and uh, register of members and register of assets these all primary books of accounts should be maintained by the npo but same like business oriented organization these not for profit organizations also should prepare the financial statement at the year end each and every year 31st march all profit oriented and not for profit oriented organization must have to prepare final accounts these final accounts will vary from profit oriented to not for profit oriented usually profit oriented organizations will prepare trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet along with it some tools may be provided like cash flow or um, ratio even or common and comparative statement analysis but if you are taking not for profit organization they are going to prepare receipts and payments accounts income and expenditure account and balance sheet you may have a doubt sir it is not for profit organization why they should prepare this final accounts as receipts and payments account income and expenditure account and balance sheet every year and as final accounts because they are accountable for each and every single rupees what they received as subscription or grants or interest on investments or legacy whatever it is so they are accountable for their contributory if they are receiving money as donation they are accountable for donors those who gave money as donation to the organization for them they will show the final accounts we spend your money for providing services in this way